Yes, quick fast. Uh, Redfall. It is a vampire shooter by Arcane Studios. I love Arcane, everything they've done. Mm. I'm super down for it. It, it's, it is not a immersive sim, which is typically what they're known for. It's going to be more on the um, just action. Yeah, basically Borderland side. Mm-hmm. Um, Got to do. Oh, they're, 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 all, they're also doing. Hard. They're also doing Deathloop, which I think is launching as a PS5 exclusive. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and then they're, they're tied and to that contract so, yeah. and whatnot. Um, yeah, looks cool. A little bit out of uh, their typical wheelhouse, but I'm confident that's going to be good because Arcane is good. Even if it's just a CG trailer, that I haven't been this at like oh damn i actually think i really need to play this about like an arcane game since prey and even though everybody knows i don't like prey 2017 anymore um that original cd trailer had that effect of just holy shit what is this i need to play this like this looks like that to me this this right. just gives me a, i need to know what's mm-hmm. going on here uh let's see diablo 2 got a release date uh September oh, yeah, or the oh fucking God. balls hey guess what console exclusivity or or early or whatever it's gonna be like it's that just i, mean, I don't like activision blizzard y'all know that fucking god damn swinging that massive game pass dick and that massive exclusivity dick wait just is it is it i don't is it exclusive I, tax, tax i don't think so it's not i'd have to check i don't believe I'll so no wasn't that the first announcement of it being on consoles or am i mistaken no, they already said when they first revealed it at BlizzCon last year that it's coming out on X, Xbox and the next-gen Xbox, PlayStation and the next-gen PlayStation. Oh, well, I'm a dumbass then. Never mind. Yeah, but no, that's, no mention that's of the, it. But the fact that Microsoft scored the release date trailer is super interesting to me because Microsoft yes. never advertised a Blizzard thing ever, so it's very interesting. I was technically right about the dick swinging then. Continue. Yes, go on. Damn. Sorry. Yes, it is coming out on Switch. Uh, Diablo 3 on the Switch is very good. Um, Stalker 2, April 28th, 2022. Um, I hope the entire it, game is in Russian. It looks it, like it's going to be. It's, uh, honestly, the best... Okay, I'll, I'll get to that part after. Uh, but yeah, basically, if you like Metro, this is Metro, except without as much radiation and uh, post-apocalypse monsters and whatnot. Um, I'm, I'm kind of split on the voice acting thing, and, and Metro in particular where I think it is the more authentic experience if you do play it um, with, with subs, you know, with uh, actual Russian voice acting. But on the other hand, I'm a sucker for dumb uh, Russian accents wanna, in English. Also, I want to play the game. Uh, it, it, can be, it can be hard to play a game while reading sometimes. There's, been, there's a <laughs> couple, couple boss fights near Automata made it a little, a little difficult, so... Yeah, I would kinda, like... Oh, sorry, my son, you go on. Yeah, I was gonna say I've 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 elected to more play these games oh, uh, in English, despite me wanting to play with the oh. more authentic. You know, what? because voice. of that specifically, I'm gonna jump around to something they showed later. Uh, Yakuza, uh, like a dragon's coming to Game Pass. They, <laughs> they played it in English. Well, it's already on what Game the? Pass. Well, it wasn't on Game Pass before. No, not so. Well, t- I'm just not. saying today it was like it's oh, yeah, now yeah. literally yeah. on Game Pass. Um. They played the English version. It was fucking gross. Was not yeah, really it was weird. Me off. I it was really shot. weird. I, I, I played it. the entire series. It was uh, with subs and just no. You, you have to. Still though, now you can play the entire literally. Yeah, but how, 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 how are you gonna series? after dumping like three hundred plus hours in that franchise? How am I just gonna swap to English? You're not gonna like, swap. Exactly. You just click English that. in the menu. Like I, I fucking did hate when you. I played like a dragon. How can you say fine. that while you see I, you do vibrations in your throat look, and they come out as audible sounds that we yeah, recognize like, as a culture? CJ, it's okay. You, you, you chose the wrong choice. It's okay. No, I chose the right <laughs> choice because the way they swear in that game is so much funnier in English. I love it. It's like a name oh, yeah. that came up with like. The things that they say, like cum dumpster, whatever bullshit. I loved it. I thought it was oh the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> um, I don't want to leave. Nothing. I just heard that the English dub wasn't that bad. <sighs> I'll, we'll have that discussion another time because there's not enough time in this podcast remaining. Um, I just want to go back to Stalker really quick. Like, I, I, as far as the whole like language discussion of well, should it be this? Should it be that? I think we have enough games that purport themselves as the default language being English. I mean, even point and po- point and point in order or whatever. Like. A lot of the advertising for Yakuza 7 in the West was so centered around the English dub. And I'm jokes aside, I'm not trying to talk shit about people for enjoying an English dub, regardless of my opinion of it. I, I think we, we it is better to see something honestly showing like, hey, this is a game that takes place in Russia. We're going to show the trailer in Russian because that makes sense. And that is how it would be happening if you were actually seeing like this or whatever. Um, 
The only thing I really have to say, aside from I really would love to see some more, like, actual... Actual gameplay, not so much like either heavily scripted or just like we can't really tell if it's scripted or if it's CG pretending to be gameplay. Um, I also would like to know. Uh, this is, a, I guess, a comment on what Jose was saying. I don't know if it's fair to say that it will. It's it's you can just expect Metro, but but a different like game because while I haven't played the original Stalker games, I know that those were like a little more complicated. And I guess the Metro games, yeah, it's like, it's like you have Stalker, really you have Metro in the middle ground, then you have more straightforward. Without stuff. trying to say it, like, I- ironically or unironically, whatever, it, it was, it, the Stalker was considered, like, a PC gamer's, like, hard capital G gamer's experience. Yeah. And, and, and the more more so the reason Not I, use, I use Metro as a comparison is because Stalker is predominant. Um, I, don't, I don't believe there's been a console version. I could be, I could be wrong on that. No, I don't, I don't think there think ever has. has been. The, yeah. the epitome of Eurojank. Yeah. Like ba- it's based used, off some like old least, like Russian film too. Uh, yeah, it's not a novel, uh, right? It, it might have Euro Jink, but at least it'll be on PSN. It's based off <laughs> of a novel that's that had a adapted. Russian yeah. movie from the forties. I actually watched a bit of it when I was in film film school. Um, and then they made the game that I think is based more off of the novel than the movie. Yeah, and it's like, the one thing that confuses me is that I always saw Stalker as like a simulation style game because I because I have the first one. It's always on sale on Steam, so I bought it. But this one showed like weird radiation monsters, and I never thought that Stalker had like radiation monsters in it. I feel like I did see monsters in some footage somewhere, or well, at least an implication of that. I swear the first game had like bigger like animals, like radiated animals. I yeah, 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 yeah. Was being, like radiated like. Cthulhu faced people, or, or maybe, yeah, that's or maybe just even more so, like the combat that they showed off in the trailer, like is against humans, whereas Metro is like you get in some ridiculous ass shit with monsters in there. Yeah, I know, uh, I know. There's some people who are like they're wary of like if it like it, the base. I've, there's a, I've seen people. I think like uh, Stephen Kick and Dave Oshry were saying like you know like if this if it turns out the whole the Metro ness that people are gleaming off of this is kind of just based on a scripted trailer and that the game itself is going to be more freeform then that's cool if it only has you being this whole like straightforward shooter with sometimes other things like slight rpg elements that it's not going to feel like a true sequel to that series and, and this is i'm repeating what they're saying only because i don't have the experience of this series to make a definitive judgment so i'm just trying to share the knowledge of what i've heard people who i know are like into those classic games and are still not like shitheads about things now mm-hmm. i mean thankfully it's going to be on game pass which instantly had me yeah saying out loud it, i'm going to try this <laughs> and regardless like the fact that i don't have connection to the old games really like it looks cool also it i just does. want to say jose i heard your little remark there about well, at least it's on psn you know that's not very nice that's not very fair pathologic 2 is on psn i don't know what you're yeah. talking about i was i was talking about cyberpunk i know you were <laughs> i mean i will say game pass got me to try pathologic when i would have never played that yeah so i'm i know i'm gonna try Docker, even though I've only played, I think, like, 10 minutes of the first one, and mm-hmm. I was very confused. Right. Also, let's, uh, let's be I fair. I wonder how it's gonna work. On Game, Game Pass didn't get yeah. you to try to try uh, Pathologic. I got you to try Pathologic. You did. Actually, H-Bomber I, guy did. But I wouldn't have tried it I if guess it wasn't on Game Pass. That's true. I I'm sorry, Jose. Alright, we, got, we uh, gotta move I wonder, on. I wonder um, how those the studio's games will work on console, just because it's the type of game that you press Y on your keyboard to check the time on your watch. Metro did a pretty uh, just, damn good job of it. Yeah, so I'm confident. a bunch of buttons for kind of superfluous things to do. So a, a, a lot of weapon wheels and toggles and slow mo. Mm-hmm. Damn you, weapon wheel! <laughs> um, Contraband. It's a game by Just Cause developer Avalanche Studios. It they didn't like show a much. Game. It is apparently open world and co op, and it it's on like Game Pass. Thing. That's that's all we know. Like yeah. Steel. What, what did you say? Level. What did you say, Sarah? I said it looks like a thief's thing. Yeah, like here for it. That's why I was like, I was like, is it basically yeah, payday thing. but open world? And like actually grabbing like physical things, like, like yeah, instead of just cash. And, like, mm-hmm. and perhaps like a bosses. Like I'm just like I'm here. I'm here for yeah. stealing stuff. I'm I'm here for the Kleptomania simulator. Let's go. Yeah, I'm interested to see more about it, but it's another one of those like it's just a CG trailer yeah. with bare well, bones, I mean, it's like whatever. It is. So we can kind of guess what you're getting into with like just just cause and stuff. I'm, mm-hmm. ex- I'm expecting, or at least like the tone we know will not be serious. I need grappling hooks and tying cars to freeways and seeing them do the yep. thing from Fast Five I mean, where they're just slamming into other cars. There's nothing saying that there won't be grappling hooks in it. 
Yeah, that's true. Uh, get that money it's better than Just Cause Four, then everything will be okay. <laughs> Um, Outer Worlds two, um, next gen that, only. That trailer was funny. That by trailer Obsidian. was funny. Yeah, uh, it's by Obsidian, as, as first one was. Um, yeah, first one was really good. My only complaint with the first one was that this was bef- like it was it was pretty much done by the time Microsoft acquired them, so you can kind of tell it was made on a budget. The the areas were pretty small. The hub areas were small. It was very like limited in scope. So now that they have. Yeah. Uh, uh, Papa Bill Gates' money, um, as does his mistress, um, they, they should be able to expand from there. Got that extra uh, money. It also had Fallout <laughs> face, like, zoom-in syndrome, for when you zoomed in on people's faces, they just wouldn't blink, and they just stare at you. But that's, like, every RPG, isn't it? Like, it has, like, yeah. a, that's like that all, weird that's RPG. is kind of a standard. That gives me anxiety. <laughs> when people just stare at you. And also, I, it had, like, yeah. It, yeah was, I, it was fun. It was Outer Worlds cool. 1 was pretty good. Uh, I imagine the second one will be just as good, if not better. Uh, as I've already had a good time <laughs> while I played it. <laughs> as a lot of people, <laughs> as a lot of people have said, um, uh, as a lot of people have said, like it is definitely one of the most honest CG trailers I've ever seen. Literally, with the whole like, you know, we're going to tell you exactly why this is, and you know that. I will admit, though, if it wasn't Obsidian making that kind of joke, I have a feeling that I and a lot of others would just be like, this is stupid. Like, if Gearbox made a trailer like that, we'd be saying, this is oh, fucking... Fuck Gearbox like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm on Twitter, like, I, fuck I'm, Gearbox. <laughs> I'm confident that the development team behind Outer Worlds uh, does significantly less cocaine. <laughs> yeah, or going to medieval times, for that matter. Yeah, talking about less magic tricks. <laughs> <laughs> the magic trick, bro, I swear. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, Sea of Thieves, uh, v- very suitingly, is getting uh, Pirates of the Caribbean crossover with, uh, yeah. with uh, D- okay, Jack Sparrow. Okay, but it kind of makes me want to play Sea of Thieves. <laughs> it oh, did not make me want to play Sea of Thieves. I love Sea of Thieves. I love playing Sea of Thieves with my friends. It's great. I like, have not it, played it. I'm- it honestly looks very fun, and mm-hmm. I also saw a very happy crab in that trailer. Mm-hmm. There, my- like, there was like a little very happy crab. My so only you, problem with Sea of Thieves, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. With uh, Sea of Thieves is kind of the 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 the, uh, the fact that there's no real progression and you just kind of do things. It's great for like an hour, and then you just you're kind of done. Well, now you can do. Uh, things are we talking about Jack Destiny Sparrow or Sea of Thieves? His <laughs> <laughs> Grinch fingers. He's got them. They're made, like they modeled them specially for you. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, the Stranger uh, Paradise demo downloaded. Hope it's not broken. Mm. Uh, let's see. I I've I not played. I've not played the first game. Uh, Psychonauts Two looks good. The biggest note mm. I have for this, I didn't realize Rasputin's voice actor is the same dude that does Invader Zim. So anything That's, with that yep. voice actor is pure of gold. I'm a I'm a play it because, oh, yeah. purely because it, of that. His talent has not diminished. He's just gotten better and better at his craft. Like I, okay. So before when we were like, people were like, what was it? People were like, oh, people were hate or Souls fans are mad because they have to wait two years for a Souls game. I'm just like, bitch. I have been waiting 16 years for a Psychonauts two. That game, while ending pretty definitively, still ended also on a thing of like, hey, by the way, we can do so much more, and we want to, and they never mm-hmm. did because mm-hmm. nobody wanted to give them money. And now they have the money, and it looks exactly like what it should be. Yep. Like, more Psychonauts, but with a bigger budget, with more polish. Hell yeah. Finish the first it's going to be, it. it. be a 4K GameCube game, and that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Exactly. Hell yeah, that's me. Oh, yeah. You're going to have collectibles again! The figments are in it! <laughs> You're going to have five different kinds of collectibles, and you know your ass oh. is going to have to go back to those <laughs> levels to find them because of progression blockers, just like in the original game. So we'll I check th- on Ballad Wonderworld. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think this is the best thing that uh, Tim Schafer could have done for that studio was was go with Microsoft mm-hmm. instead of doing mm-hmm. another couple million Kickstarters. Especially because <laughs> a lot of their older games, because what, like um, uh, Full Throttle, uh, Day of the Tentacle, and, and what's the other one I'm thinking of? Grim Fandango. Uh, and Grim Fandango all got Game Pass releases, which just means more people are going to play those classics. Um, I actually need to play all of those. I played little tiny bits of friend Grim Fandango. I've looked at stuff from the other two. I know I need to play them. Um, yeah, I, I, I am so glad that, like, again, I hate I hate 
corporations, they're not your friend. I really do love though that Double Fine gets to have this benefit of like, okay, we got Microsoft money. We can just make cool shit again. Yeah. What, what do you mean corporations Microsoft, aren't our friends? Elon Elon yeah. likes cat girls. Oh, hold so on. Sarah, the what are you saying? That, yeah, the fact that Microsoft bought these studios, but they're staying really hands off and just being like, here's the money to make what you want to make. Yes, fuck big, big like corporations, but good on Microsoft for not doing like a hostile hostile mm-hmm. takeovers of these, yeah. of these companies and just being like hey we know you want to make this this, this thing or like how uh, they're doing with the ninja theory hey we we know you want to make this studio based around making games around the subject that you didn't think anybody wanted here's all the money in the world to uh do so and we're not going to touch any anything that you make we're just going to publish mm-hmm. it Here's the exact here's opposite approach to compared to like EA, which was literally just like, we're going to slowly make everything just make Call of Duty because that. Yeah, makes it's fun. good on Microsoft for I knowing to stay hands, hands, hands off for just being mm-hmm. like, hey, you guys want to make what you want to make. Here's the money to do so. It just has to be on Game Pass. It has to be Xbox exclusives. So it's like, uh, and really quick before we're done with microsoft two indie games that we didn't see that i was very sad about nothing about scorn other just than the confirmation it's still coming out this yeah. year which i don't believe because no offense but that development team is very small and they're very like we're gonna make this right or we're not gonna put it out at all so i don't think we're getting that game this year but we saw nothing of it and microsoft's like billing that as one of their top indies that's releasing on game game pass and nothing on hellblade 2 which Weird. again, they I'm, can take their time. I I want them to take their time. Both studios. Just really surprising that Microsoft didn't show off Hellblade Two, and it was the first Series X exclusive game that they showed. <laughs> Were you gonna I'm, say? I'm, I mostly hear about Scorn because of Easy Allies. They they. Pr- <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Those <laughs> ads all throughout 2016, 2017. <laughs> Scorn. Uh, what is it? The the textiles. <laughs> the, the gothic horror. The tapestry. <laughs> Again, good on Microsoft for giving these studios, like tiny oh, yeah. studios, yeah. money and just being like, hey, your game's a weird HR Geiger love love letter when the ground squelches when you step on it. Here's $2 million. It, it's, it's a hell of a shift from uh, the Don Matrick years. I, I think Absolutely. Xbox should be very proud of how they're handling these acquisitions and how they're giving people creative leeway and allowing them to delay as needed. Um, through it's, me it's, it's all that. a portfolio now with Game Pass. That's, that's their thing. No, yeah. What threw me about that was just was like when they got to the end and we we're like, we've talked about all these games. We've talked about 30 games and we're going to talk about more. And when Scorn was on that list, my brain just went like, wait, did I did, was there a Scorn trailer? And I just somehow didn't notice it. And then no, like I realized, no, no they just posted that it's still coming out. We got to blaze through these. Team is I know. very not quiet, but they like to stay silent until they ha- actually have something to show. That's mm-hmm. what that's what I kind of figured following that game for so long is they're that type of team where we're not going to show something new unless it's substantial and mm-hmm. pay for the advertising. Game. Well, well, especially when a game like that is so centered around like people are playing that specifically for the aesthetic, the art design, the environment, it, it, not really so much like and not necessarily the the actual plot if that makes yeah. any sense. That team uh, started, if I remember, as a five-person team, and they're now up to, like, 20 people. So, like, give them man. time, please. <laughs> all right, we, we got to yeah, move okay, on. I'm sorry. Uh, it's all good. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, finally coming to console. Uh, probably a good thing, because it's really demanding on PC and doesn't work mm-hmm. for a decent amount of people. That's uh, another is, thing I wanted, but I'm really happy because I have people want it. I wish, I hope. <laughs> my, <laughs> my, my, in the middle of the earth. In my deepest wishes and dreams, I will play that game if the if I will buy an Xbox to play that game if the sinkhole exists. I can't wait to get drunk and fly into my house. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um, also, they're da-da-da. adding military planes? That's confusing, but okay. Age of Empires 4 coming October 28th, 2021. I don't have any cool. experience with that franchise. Yeah, looks, I do. Looks cool. um, I really liked Age of Empires 2. I had it on the original Windows 95 PC that I got as a hand-me-down from my stepbrother. Um, and I figured out how if you beat the tutorial and you don't have the disc, you can bypass the the disc lock, the disc requirement or whatever, and you could just play the whole game, and mean, which means they lied to you. They didn't actually need the game to play it. It was all yeah. on your PC the whole time. Yeah. Um, I think it looks really good. It looks like Age of Empires, but modern, and I actually couldn't because I never played three. I I couldn't believe how like much it just looked like the same games I was used to, but better. Do you, do we know if that's a Game Pass title? PC for sure. I don't know about if it's coming to consoles or not. Okay, no, but it's a, yeah, it's a Game Pass PC like launch. 
Okay. I would be surprised if it didn't come to consoles. Uh, uh, with Age of Empires, uh, sorry, Jose, that I, that I do just want to say this. With Age of Empires, is tricky because that is never, as far as I know, it's never been on consoles, and it's okay. It's a difficult thing to bring like something like that to consoles, and uh, you'd have to really work at it. Not, it I, might maybe later, though. Sorry, for, Jose. Go for on. what it's worth, they they totally have uh, mouse and keyboard compatibility on Xbox, so that's probably an easier work. Well, in the, in the grand scheme of things, relatively easy workaround for yeah. as far as like inputs, um, shit goes.